It's been said that Hawaii is a melting pot of many different races. The Filipino culture adds to the racial mix of Hawaii, from their colorful dances, to their traditional fashion wear, to their ethnic cuisine. Hawaii's Filipino community is today an integral part of life in these islands. The year was 1906, the year the first of seven Filipino immigrants arrived in Hawaii. A statue in Kiaao stands in their honor. That statue is um, commemorating that, the site of Kiaao, which is where the first group of um, cicadas was um, brought into the, of course, Oahu, the ship arrived, and then brought over to the plantation there. Working the plantation. The sugar industry was the foundation of Hawaii's economic prosperity in the early 1900s. Thousands of laborers were brought in to work the fields for 10 cents a day. The Filipinos were part of that group. Most of them came in with the aspect of, we are coming here to earn money to go back, not to stay. But they were kind of forced to stay because they could never quite earn enough money to return. So when the Filipinos came into Hawaii, it was actually at a time where the Japanese were striking. And as a way to break the strikes, they, would, um, they were looking for a new group of people that they could bring in. And at, at the same time, they were placed in different areas so that they would not intermingle. Because one of the things that the plantation did was set up these teams, and of course the Filipino team versus the uh, Japanese teams, and they would kind of pit the different cultures against each other to keep that separation. And then of course the language barriers. And so um, a lot of the sports you'll see the team is all Filipino. They faced their share of racial discrimination and some were hated for taking jobs from white men. Truth of the matter was that the Filipinos were willing to work for lower wages to support their families. By the year 1930, 120,000 Filipinos were working the fields. Soon after, they wanted more for themselves and became business owners. Many of the Filipinos became uh, entrepreneurs because uh, they would, of course, like their own kind of food, their own way of doing housekeeping and laundering and gardening and things like that. However, most of the Filipinos continued working the land and became proficient farmers. They are uh, people that work so hard and yet um, just be left alone. I mean, if they can do things and that will benefit the uh, community, they will do that, but um, in a very quiet way. Today, they celebrate their accomplishments, their contributions, and their own unique culture that honors their heritage. It's just like an, uh, to open uh, more communication through the community yeah. that we are here and we'll, we like to live here and we enjoy living here and so we want to be part of the community. Uh, there are so many achievements and contributions that the Filipinos uh, had uh, uh, given to the uh, community, specifically for the Big Island. Gabe Baltazar, Jasmine Trias, Andy Bumatai, Tia Carrere, Benny Agbayani, and former Governor Ben Cayetano are just some of the more notable Filipinos in our community. It all started in the year 1906 with the arrival of seven men. From these humble beginnings, the Filipinos continues to celebrate over 100 years of progress in Hawaii.